Hi, this is Bug Nomster with Entomophagy Wiki, and I just want to show you how to add a new species to the wiki. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the Contribute button and click Add a Page. You're going to want to name the page the species name for the insect that you're adding. So in my case, I am adding an entry for superworms, and the species name is Phobus Morio. And you want it to be a blank page, go ahead and click Add a Page. First thing you're going to want to do is switch from the visual editor over to the source. And in order to get the correct template, you're going to need to type in or paste in S U B S T, which stands for substitute, and colon template, colon new space species space page. And that should be enclosed in double curly braces. And you'll know that you've done it correctly if you hit preview. Clearly, I have not done it correctly. I misspelled species. So if you did it wrong, like I just did, thankfully I did on the videos, so you can see it. It won't do anything. But if you do it correctly, ta-da! It will show you the template. And there are all these reminders about what should be in each section. So go ahead and hit publish. That'll create a blank page with species name and then just information about what should go in each section. You want to go back into edit mode and now you have the template here. So the first thing we can do is go into the info box for species and click edit. Now we'll have all kinds of lovely boxes that we can fill out with all the information about the species. So in order to get an image in here, we we'll need to upload one. So we want to go to a new tab and click Contribute, Add a Photo. And I went ahead and I went to the Superworm page for Wikipedia and I found this image. I'm going to go ahead and download that. Save link as. Save. Now we'll go back to our upload page and choose that file. You can just go ahead and rename it something descriptive. It's Phobus Morio larva, and we'll add that as a summary. You want to choose the licensing. In this case, it's Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike, which is what most of the ones here on Wikipedia are, so they're pretty safe ones to use. So I want to go in Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike. If it's not a share alike, if it's just an attribution, go ahead and select that one and fix it once we upload this. Go ahead and hit upload. Alright, so you'll see here under licensing it says source and it just says source URL, source title. It doesn't have the actual information. Go into edit under licensing, source. If it was all right. only attribution you would get rid of the dash SA. This one is an attribution and share alike, so go ahead and move those braces down. And then we need to add a couple of fields. The fields that you saw when we were looking at the main photo page that hadn't, didn't have any information. So we need to provide a source title and a source URL. For the source title, go ahead and use 
the author's name from the photo page. And use the URL for the photo page. You can also find Creative Commons images on Flickr and on commons.wikimedia.org. Those are really good places to go look for images. So we can go ahead and publish this. Now we should see the source is Andre Carwas. Now we have our photo uploaded. We need to copy the file name. So that's it right here. This just says that we are in the licensing section, so you don't need that. But get file, and then the file name, dot, and then the extension. And you can go ahead and go back to our species page and paste the file name into the image box. Then we need a caption. I'm just going to say that it's the Phobus morio larva. And most of these are self-explanatory. Just go through and fill out all the boxes with the accurate information. So the common names for the superworms are superworms, giant millworms, the Phobus, and darkling beetle. They get to be one and a half to two and a quarter inches. Uh, usually size is given in length if you look at any of the resources, so just a number and then inches is sufficient. We'll know that that's length. If there are other dimensions, like how big around it gets or anything like that, you can just throw it in there and explain what it means. So go ahead and fill out all this other information. Color, tan with dark brown or black stripes. Defense. Not much with the larva, but the adults do emit an odor if they're disturbed. Range. They're found in tropical regions of Central and South America, naturally. And then we can go ahead and fill out all the scientific classification information. Animalia. Arthropoda. Insecta. Coleo. And as long as you spell all this stuff correctly, I recommend copying it, pasting it actually, which is what I'm going to do for the rest of these. It'll add all of the relevant categories to the page, except for one, and I'll explain that when we get to that part. So Sophobus morio, genus and species. Now we have all these. These aren't really well explained here. Stage one refers to the life cycle. And in the case of superworms, the first stage is an egg. Don't have many pictures of the eggs. They're pretty small, so it's hard to get good photos of those, especially ones that are Creative Commons. But the second stage is larva, and we do have photos of that. And here's one that I uploaded earlier. Same as before, upload the picture input the licensing information, and then copy the file name and paste it in the box. Stage 3 is pupa, and we have a photo of that. And stage 4 is the adult. And a photo. Copy and paste. Alright, there are some extra boxes here if they happen to have more than four steps in the life cycle. Some only have three, some only have a couple. It just depends on what species you're working with. Fill in as many as you need. It goes up to six. Theoretically, there won't be any more that any that have more than six. Alright, and after we get past the life cycle, we have information about consuming them. So stage consume should be whether they're consumed as larvae, as adults, as eggs, whatever. In this case, superworms are consumed as larvae rather than as adult beetles. Cooking method. 
here you put any methods that are used to cook it, so sautéing, boiling, toasting, frying. Uh, if they are eaten raw, you can put that. Parts consumed would be which parts of it are actually eaten. So in the case of superworms, the whole thing is eaten. But if it's something like a cricket or something, all of it can be eaten, but sometimes legs are removed, so you can just leave a note like that. And toxicity. Um, for things like scorpions or wasps or something like that that have a venom, you can go ahead and put that they have that venom and any relevant information that there might be regarding that. Usually, uh, the reports I've seen with scorpions especially will be to cut off the stinger if you're going to eat it raw, otherwise the cooking will denature the venom. With a lot of things, I'll also put that it's a potential allergen, especially for people that have aller allergic reactions to shrimp or something like that. And once you've filled in all the information, you can go ahead and hit preview, and it should pull this up. Here we go. Some of the photos seem to be lagging. It appears that there's an actual photo there. So I'm just going to hit, hit OK. All right. That's the info box. That's the major part of the information right there. But we also have all of these other little sections that make up the whole page. This is just the general information section. And it includes stuff like common names, physical description, things of that nature. I'll go ahead and put that in here. And so I've also linked to regular mealworms in this section and just some other basic information about it. Preview, this is what it'll look like. Hit OK. Go ahead and copy these other ones in. And what I'm doing is just all these little puzzle pieces are the different sections of the page. And if you just hover over them, this will pop up and then you can click on edit. I'll go ahead and paste this in about their habitat. And you'll see here that I've left a little note. It's less than ref greater than and then a space and then less than slash ref greater than. And that just stands for reference. That's because for the habitat, I have a page which described it right here. So both they love to hide in rotting logs and leaves, and they're found in Central and South America. So this is the page I got that information from. Go ahead and copy that URL, and I'll paste that right in there. And it'll give this error because you're inside this particular module. Once you save the page, it'll work just fine. And it has a little one right here to show that you have a reference. I'll just go through and fill in this other information. Like I said, it has information in this little box about what information should actually go in each section. Follow the directions and fill it out. This case, this one also has a reference to that same page I just quoted. Oh. So I'll copy that again and put that in there. Okay. All right. And see, I keep clicking on these. And you don't need to click them. You just need to hover over it, and this will pop up. And you can hit edit. So. For the recipe section, there are a couple different types of recipes. There are recipes that are actually posted on the wiki, and then there's a section for recipes that are on external websites. So in this case, 
I have one recipe. It's a mealworm recipe, but the mealworms and superworms are used pretty much the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one. We want to get the title here, and you want to include the recipe part at the beginning. So copy that and paste that into internal recipe. And if you go ahead and hit preview now, you can see that it pulls in the recipe from that page. I don't have a second recipe for mealworms right now, so I'll go ahead and leave this one blank. Recipe category for mealworms, you set the recipe category to larvae. Sorry, I believe it's larva. Yes, singular. And anyway, in any case, you'll be able to see whether it's right or not after you've saved the page, and then you can double check it and make any corrections you need to. I also have a couple of external recipes. There's room to add 10 of them. But you can add as many or as few as you have. In this case, I have a couple of recipes from Insects Are Food. The first one is for mealworm french fries. And the second one is for banana worm bread. So preview that. And you can see here's the recipe from the wiki. Here's a link to get more recipes from the wiki, if there were any, and the two recipes from the external website. Okay. A few sections left. Here's one on farming. And yeah, you'll find that sometimes the wiki software is not that great and it can be a pain to get into some of these. Not a worry, I'll leave that one alone for right now and come back to it. Legality. I'll go ahead and enter this one. Copy and paste what I have here. Buying. Alright, so the buying is a little different too. So there's a box for buying info, which is just general info about how you can purchase them and where. So in the case of superworms, they're available in pet stores or from reptile supply stores online. In some cases, you'll be able to find links to websites that are selling them prepared for human uh, consumption. There are a lot of websites that sell like worm suckers and scorpions that have been fried or whatever. Go ahead and explain how people can buy them. And then also include links to any product pages. So in the case of superworms, I found a couple of links where live worms are being sold. For some other species, you can usually find a source or two where they're actually being sold for human consumption. So you could go ahead and put those in as well. Preview, okay. All right, media. All right, so that one's this one right here. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this for right now. So this one, is just a clear, you can ignore this one. And this one is the references. Every time you use the the ref tags, the reference tags up in here and posted a link to where you got the information, it'll automatically put it down here. You don't need to add anything to this. So we'll go ahead and edit the slideshow. And so this is for just a list of pictures that you have of this particular species and we want it to be left aligned so just how it is and 300 for the width so then you just go ahead and add photos so I want to get all the ones that are relevant this should be Superworms Adult even though it's not loading and then I believe I also have some other ones for this species 
Yes, because I actually cook some of these. So select all the relevant ones and hit select. Now you can just go through and add captions to these. Exploded because I cooked it too hot. That's what le what's left of one after it exploded. <laughs> Lesson here is don't cook your insects on too high of a temperature. All right, and adding photos. Finish. All right. We do need to go back and fix the farming section, but for now, we'll go ahead and hit publish. Alright, now we can see that our page has all of the relevant info, the info box that we filled out, recipes. Alright, so here's one that didn't work. We put in larva for the recipe category. But I think it was supposed to be larvae with an E. So we'll go ahead and hit edit for recipe section, edit, and add an E. And yeah, if you hover over it, it'll say the category larvae recipes. If it doesn't exist, it'll actually say there page doesn't exist. So we'll hit OK and publish. Now this is fixed. All right, so this one is the section that we couldn't get to work in there because the wiki software is not always the best and it was freaking out. So we'll go into this individual section and hit edit. And if we go over this, now we can hit edit. And we can paste in our info. And hit OK. Now, this is what it'll look like when it's done. You can see here that it says that there's a video. I like to include videos if I can find a good step-by-step -step for breeding each of the insects. But in this case, you can't use the visual editor to add the video. You'll have to actually hit source and come in here, add a couple of extra lines, and then you can click add video. And it accepts videos from YouTube and Hulu and a couple of other sources and click see all right here and I'll tell you where all you can get videos from. But I found one on YouTube so I'll just go down here and hit the share, copy the link and paste it in here. Next, um, the only thing you need to change here is change it to a left alignment and hit add video. Video was successfully placed in this article. Return to editing. If you go to visual, I guess you can't see it here, but if you have preview, you can see the video here. Uh, it did mess up this right here. So I'll go back to source. 
Let's see if we can get it. Uh, uh. Alright, so the issue here is that it's posting it on the side of the video, which is fine if there's room for it. If you want it to be below the video, you can do clear left. That's C L R L. And put that in double curly braces. Preview, and now it's below the video. Go ahead and hit publish. Alright, now we have our video here. And if we click this, it'll pop right up. And show the step by step. Try to read those particular worms. Now we're just about done. In fact, with most species, we will be done. I've set up the template so that it'll use scientific classification information in the info box to add all of the relevant categories. There's one that it won't add automatically. And that's only for species where it's the larvae which are eaten. So you want to go ahead and come down here and click add category and then click larvae and save. Now we're done. It's completely done page on superworms. Thanks for watching.